What's up everybody? It is Matt from Electric All Wheel and it is a cold day here in Florida. Uh, we have the Aventon Level 2 High Step and we are going to add a second battery. This is the 48 volt 10 amp hour battery that we typically use in our install videos. We have the Electric All Wheel Dual Battery Discharge Balance Kit. Uh, this has the bullet connectors. We're going to see what's actually going on in here. We anticipate bullet or XT60s on this Aventon level two. And then at the end of the video, we are actually gonna give you some range calculations. So stick around for that. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe on YouTube. It is our primary. And if you're in the area, e-bikes of Tampa Bay, Florida, get in that Facebook group, make an event and go for a ride with your friends, even when it's cold outside. Here we go. So these are the only three screws that have to be removed. Already we can see what's up. For this we're getting battery feedback, that'll go straight to the connection. We have XT60 to the controller. And I am going to go ahead and pop this motor cable to see if I can get some slack. There we go. There we go, 22 amp. So that's going to be our 40 amp balancer i can feel plenty of plenty of room okay i may roll this bike over just for testing so i can see what's going on down inside of it so i'm just going to take my kit I'm going to pull out the balancer and then the next thing I need to do is get my cables. So on these you have your battery side input and that's female. So you need to make sure that you get the male version of this cable plug up through the body of the e-bike so it comes out here where we're going to store the balancer and that will plug in on the battery side input like so. to the housing. Remember that I made sure to create slack. Just gonna reach in there and grab this cable. Then I'm going to take and plug that in to battery side input on my balancer. Then I'm going to unplug my plate 
And I'm going to plug the other one in to the other side of the balancer. And then I'm going to plug the output of the balancer into the connector that's attached to the controller. And then I'm gonna take my slack out of my existing cable. And I just fit my balancer inside here. So it's controller. Controller is set this way. I kept the orientation. The balancer is across crossways in the back. You can see that that's the back side of the battery insert in the bike. And then the wirings get pushed to the side. And then it will sit in the housing just like that. I am gonna test this really quick. I'll just leave this battery on the ground just to make sure. There we are. You know that there's no factory battery and we're just gonna see if we can get some power. It'll likely throw an error because the motor is not hooked up. But we do have power, yeah, E24, so that's your motor hall error. We know that that's not working, but we do have a power to the system, so that's a good sign. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this back out. Remember, I pulled this so I could have slack to get the controller out so I could see what was going on. The bike is live, I'm just gonna give it some throttle. Oh, has one. And there we go. That is off the second battery. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug this. And I'm just making sure that I don't strip these, so that's all. I felt a resistance that I didn't want to feel, so I just made sure that it was oriented correctly. And it's good to go. All right, remember my cable is still out. This is the one that I fed into the balancer for the second battery. I'm actually gonna tuck it back up under here and then bring it right out here. And that's gonna get me into this housing where I'm gonna actually be having this battery anyway. So it's good to go. Now I'm gonna put in the factory battery and test that it works. Make sure your pin's unlocked before you try putting it back in. There we go. Now this is just the factory battery. The second battery connection is loose. Perfect. Check it. Beautiful. For this, I plan to hang the battery right here. Normally, I like to use the strap to help hold my cabling. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. Actually, I'm gonna plug it in on the other side because it comes out of the bag on the other side.
There we have it. This is the Aventon Level 0.2. This is a 48 volt, 14 amp hour factory battery with a second 48 volt, 10 amp hour battery, bringing your battery capacity to 48 volts, 24 amp hours. So let me go ahead and get you guys some range calculations because that's what everybody wants to know. Micah Toll Constant says 25 watt hours per mile ridden. So with a 48 volt system, you have a 14 amp hour factory battery plus a 10 amp hour second battery with 24 amp hours total times 48 gives you 1,152 watt hours. Divide that by 25 and you get 46 miles. Now this is 20 miles an hour throttle only. So that's a good clip for the event and level and you are not restricted to this battery. You can get any 48 volt battery you want. Just make sure the BMS matches the 22 amp discharge or 22 amp current limit for the controller and that you have the connectors for XT60. You can put a bag on the rack, saddlebags, etc. You are not restricted to this one. It can be any amp hour you want. Just match your factory voltage settings and then make sure that your BMS for that battery works out. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe on YouTube. It is our primary. And as I said before, e-bikes of Tampa Bay, Florida, get in that Facebook group, make an event and go for a ride with your friends. Please check out a lot of our other videos for dual battery in our channel. We have some other Aventons. Aventon V1 is pretty popular and we'll be heading into a V2, which is a little more intrusive. So be on the lookout for that. We'll talk to you next time.